Let's take a live look at the arena in Milwaukee, where eight GOP candidates are set to take the stage for the first debate without frontrunner former President Donald Trump. He won't be there, but he will be center stage tomorrow, set to turn himself into the authorities in Georgia for felony charges of conspiring to overturn the 2020 election. Senior investigative correspondent Aaron Katursky is in Atlanta with the latest. Good morning, Aaron. George, good morning to you. While his rivals are preparing to debate in Milwaukee, the former president is a day away from turning himself in here in Atlanta. And ABC News has learned his friend and lawyer Rudy Giuliani will turn himself in here later today. This morning, Rudy Giuliani, former mayor of New York and ex-federal prosecutor, is expected to present himself as a criminal defendant. Like former President Trump, Giuliani is charged with racketeering for his role in the alleged criminal scheme to overturn the election results in Georgia. I'm going uh, to Georgia and I'm feeling very, very good about it because I feel like I'm defending the rights of all Americans. Trump is also preparing to get fingerprinted and have his mugshot taken before he's released on a $200,000 bond. Unlike the courthouses in New York, Miami and Washington where Trump surrendered before, he's coming Thursday to one of the country's most controversial jails with a history of overcrowding, complaints of excessive force and the recent death of an inmate. Trump's alleged co-conspirator John Eastman preceding him at the jail. The lawyer is accused of drafting a memo proposing the use of fake electors to try to block Joe Biden's rightful victory. My legal team and I will vigorously contest every count of the indictment in which I have been named. Eastman's bond was set at $100,000. So was the bond for Jenna Ellis, a former Trump campaign attorney who allegedly peddled falsehoods about the election to Georgia lawmakers. Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, is hoping to avoid being arrested at all. He wants the case moved to federal court, and he's asking the judge to rule before the surrender deadline of noon Friday. Meadows tried asking prosecutors for a reprieve, but court records show the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, replying, I am not granting any extensions. Overnight, two more of Trump's co-defendants turned themselves in here at the jail. David Schaefer, the former Republican chairman for the state of Georgia, and Kathy Latham, a former county Republican official. She allegedly gave unauthorized access to voting machines in an ill-fated attempt to prove fraud. George. And Aaron, of course, the president now, former president now facing four different felony cases. There was a major film yesterday in the classified documents case. Uh, this is the first known witness to cooperate against former President Trump and cooperate with special counsel Jack Smith, an IT worker at Mar-a-Lago, Yusel Tavares. Prosecutors were prepared to charge him with lying to investigators before he had his change of heart. And now we're told he provided valuable information to Jack Smith and his team about former President Trump's alleged push to have IT footage, security camera footage at Mar-a-Lago deleted despite knowing the FBI wanted to see it. George. More evidence coming out. Aaron, thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.